Hi everyone, welcome back to Nail Novice. Today I'm showing you my acrylic application for a cover to clear blended nail. So that's a cover pink at the free edge, ombre blended backwards into a transparent pink towards the epinicium. This is my go-to acrylic application when sculpting new sets and there's five good reasons for this. Using a cover pink at the free edge allows you to better see what you're doing on top of your sculpting form to ensure your structure is sound. Reason number two, this blend is perfect for use on nail biters or clients who don't want a colour finish but rather a clear top coat as you can't see the natural free edge beneath the cover pink. Number three, using the cover pink only where it's needed at the free edge means the rest of the nail is a see-through colour allowing you to see the nail health beneath which is very important. Number four, the clear or transparent colour towards the epinicium means the nail grows out less obviously. There's not a stark contrast between a dark cover pink and the new natural nail growing up. And lastly, number five, along the same lines, because the body of the nail is not completely opaque, it looks super natural under negative space nail art. I'm starting, obviously, with a fully prepped natural nail. I'll link my nail prep video below. So onto the form fitting for this particular nail, I'm aiming for a squoval active length extension. I have very high hypernicium, so I've customised this form slightly by cutting more of a triangle shape to reduce the pinching I would otherwise experience from forms. I'm lining the centre of the form up with the centre of my nail and visually making sure that the top tabs of the form, which I've undone by the way, are sitting horizontally, that my form is flush underneath the natural nail and bringing the bottom tabs together leaving a large opening at the top to allow for my squoval shape application. When these bottom tabs are brought together, the end tip of the form will rise slightly. The highest point of the rise is the height you want your apex to sit at. Once my form is in place, I'm dehydrating the nail, allowing it to evaporate, and sparingly applying my primer. So onto the application, your first bead in cover pink needs to be large enough to cover from just before the natural free edge to the end of your intended extension. I'm placing my bead down, allowing it to settle for a few seconds and wiping my brush. Then gently patting it across the width of the nail. Straightening up my side walls and tidying up my free edge. I then come in with a higher angled brush, gently blending the edge of this bead backwards. Onto the second bead now, I'm placing the bead in the centre of the nail and allowing it to settle while I wipe my brush. With a higher angled brush, I'm pressing the perimeter flush and using a flatter angle to pull the sides of the acrylic down over that extension edge to ensure strength. While the bead is still nice and wet, I'm pushing and blending it back towards the epinicium to prevent any harsh lines in our blend before stroking out the rest of the acrylic. Third bead, this is now your transparent pink or clear powder. Placing my bead a couple of millimetres from the epinicium and now angling my finger or your clients much lower, meaning your acrylic is going to be natural, naturally flowing away from the cuticle area to avoid flooding. Walking the brush at a high angle around the outside edge with a flatter brush pulling the side walls down, keeping the majority of the product in the middle of the nail before stroking the remainder down over my second bead and always tidying up those side walls as I go. Now just waiting for the acrylic to turn matte and feel slightly rubbery to allow for pinching. Remembering that that first bead has had the longest amount of time so far to cure. So using the curved area of my pinching tool, I'm placing it where the natural free edge meets the extension. And you can really see in this video just how effective and slender the pinching has made this nail already, and that's even before finish filing. So this is the nail following the acrylic application. Finish filing can be viewed in a separate video linked below. And this is the gel top coated final look, super natural looking with that natural free edge hidden by the cover pink. Or you can of course finish with a colour of your client's choosing.